Welcome back. This video is all about firewalls. As you can see, I've got my router here, and at the moment, it will pass data along this way. And it will pass data along this way, whether it's going to here or whether it's going to here, and that is absolutely fine. Now, if I go back into my edit mode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a firewall on this router here. So, uh, there, if you go into the router, you can click on firewall settings, and uh, I can, uh, first of all, uh, click on activate firewall, and then I am going to uh, put in some rules. So the first thing I can do is I can either put in uh, the default, so, at the moment, if I keep this firewall like this, if no rule matches below, it's going to just forget the packet ever existed, so it's not going to talk to anything. And then I could add in specific rules here. So that's one way we can do it. And the other way we can do it is we can set it up to accept the packet here so that it acts as normal, but then we can put in specific rules to drop. I'm going to work on the accept mode uh, for the moment and if I close that down and run my network we should be able to see uh, if I restart this site that actually the router is communicating just fine. So if I go back to my build here I can essentially say in my firewall settings uh, let's have a new rule. So I can say, well, look, if the rule in my network is, uh, and I can fill out any of these fields, um, I can say, well, look, if it's going on port 80, which is the uh, HTTP port, then drop it, okay? So now, if I uh, run this and I do this, you'll see, that actually it says server does not exist because it can't get beyond the router. On the other hand, if I go to the command line and say ping 8.8.8.8, .8 that works just fine because the router's been set up to drop anything that is going out on port 80. Now, I can make that rule more specific. So I can say, my firewall rules actually anything that is going to 6.6.6.0 and I'm going to put in the net mask so anything that's going to Microsoft's network I am going to drop and then if I close that and run it hopefully now if I go to my web browser and have a look Microsoft Network, you see it only stops at the router, but now if I put in 8.8.8.8 .8 like that, absolutely perfectly fine. It works in terms of passing along Google. So let's have another look just in the firewall settings and uh, the firewall rules. I can also put rules on based upon the source IP and the net mask. So if I have a look at this notebook, which is dot 11 and this notebook dot 10, I can basically set up the firewall here to say that actually, if I put in a new rule, and I can say anything from 192.168, dot zero dot eleven and I'm putting in the full net mask so it only applies to that IP address I drop it so now on my machines when I start it up here I can go to Google that comes through we've still got in that rule which goes to uh, 6.6.6.100 .6 that will be dropped at the router and then if I have a look at this notebook and go into the web browser and try going to 8.8.8.8 here, well, it says server does not exist. So these two notebooks are seeing different behaviors because we've got a rule on the source IP address. 
So, uh, generally speaking, uh, you can do uh, all kinds of um, uh, rules with this. Uh, you'll also possibly be aware that in your router at home, you have another function in the firewall, which is called port forwarding. And what this means is if your router has a packet sent to the router on a particular port, then it forwards it on to your internal network on a different port. So that means you can expose a port on your home PC that other people on the internet can then accept to, uh, can then connect to rather, and that enables you to use gaming. So by setting up these rules, you can do all sorts. Uh, you can block and you can uh, accept packets as you wish and that's the basics of how a firewall works. More modern firewalls do have uh, more complex rules than this but uh, this is a good basis to get going on and you can f learn about things like stateful packet inspection afterwards. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video all about DNS.